Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about our project, which is using an accelerometer to cancel motion artifacts for the piezoelectric heart rate monitor. My name is Bo Rassi, and my advisor is Bryson Padastow. The school we're representing is Leeward Community College. As I said, I'm Bo Rassi. I'm going to be an electrical engineer. My project is going to be based on the piezoelectric and the accelerometer. So first, I'm going to give you some background on the two. The piezoelectric is a man-made ceramic called lead zirconiate titanate. It converts mechanical energy to electrical energy and has two metal layers to extract this energy. An accelerometer monitors the acceleration and changes in, in movement. It measures the acceleration forces and it measures it based off of three axes directions of X, Y, and Z. It is commonly used in phones and tablets. Current technologies that we have are smartwatches. They measure heart rates and they use PPG, which sends light through the skin and reflects off the arteries to measure heart rates. Smartwatch have certain limitations due to accuracy. Exercise usually yields higher heart rate results. And as the intensity of this exercise increases, the accuracy of smartwatch decreases. It's not as accurate as a chest strap monitor. It's difficult to measure through tattoos and skin deformities. And the PPG requires power to work. The project that we're going to be working on is based off of the previous peak project, the piezoelectric wrist sensor. The current piezoelectric wrist sensor has been designed and prototyped and it's not affected by optical issues, doesn't require power to operate, and the heart rate can be detected in the stationary position. However, current piezoelectric limitations are its very sensitive movement, and the movement causes inaccuracy issues. As you can see from the graph to the right, in the stationary position, the piezoelectric wrist sensor can detect the heartbeats. However, when movement occurs, the piezoelectric is not able to track the heart rate accurately. This now leads us into our project, using an accelerometer to cancel motion artifacts for piezoelectric heart rate monitor. The current piezo sensor can detect arterial pulses on the wrist and obtain a heart rate. However, it also catches fidgeting, twitching, and other arm hand movements, which are detected as well. These can cause inaccurate heart readings. So our project is to incorporate the accelerometer with the piezo electric wrist sensor to track these motions. The piezo wrist sensor should accurately track the user's heart rate and ignore the motion artifacts sensed by the accelerometer. The materials that we used were, was the piezo electric wrist sensor, the accelerometer model ADXL337, the finger pulse sensor, this was used as a heart rate reference, MATLAB in order to process the data that we gathered, and the Biopac MP150 data acquisition system, DAC for short, in order to get these data points. For our experiment, we recorded different data points with sensors using the MP150. We tested it on a single subject. On the right hand, they wore the finger pulse sensor and was motionless for all tests. This became our heart rate reference. The left wrist were the piezoelectric wrist sensor and the accelerometer at the same time. These were tested in different positions and movements. We then took this data and processed it in MATLAB. We identified the heart pulses for the piezo and identified and disregarded motion artifacts with the piezo to the accelerometer. With this, we calculated the heart rate. The testing procedures that we did were sitting with no movement, sitting and twitching, standing and twitching, and simulated walking and swing while swinging the left arm. With all these tests, we kept the right hand motionless. Now I'll describe the code used for MATLAB. We took the data that we had gathered from the piezo and the accelerometer and input it into MATLAB. We programmed MATLAB to identify and count peaks with a minimum prominence and a minimum time separation. This will also give us a calculated reference heart rate. 
MATLAB then compared piezo and accelerometer peak times. If the peak times were close together, MATLAB would then take out that peak point as it would have been due to a motion artifact. MATLAB will then look at the peak that was deleted and see if the amplitude was much, much greater than the average piezo peak. If it was, the heartbeat will be added back in as this would have been a heartbeat and a motion artifact that occurred at the same time. MATLAB will then repeat these steps until all peaks have been visited. Once all peaks have been analyzed, MATLAB will then give us a revised peak total or a calculated piezo heart rate. As you can see from the data in front of you, this is for sitting and no movement. Graphically, all the charts will be similar. The top graph will be for the piezoelectric wrist sensor on the left wrist, the accelerometer on the left wrist, and the finger pulse reference on the right finger. As you can see, we're able to track all peak prominences and peak separations between them. The finger pulse reference heart rate was 57 beats per minute. The initial piezo sensor heart rate was 57 beats per minute, and the revised piezo sensor heart rate was 57 beats per minute. As you can see in this graph, sitting with twitching, the piezoelectric and the accelerometer, we were able to capture the peaks on both graphs. The finger pulse reference was 63 beats per minute, while the initial piezo wrist sensor was 69 beats per minute. And the revised total for the piezoelectric wrist sensor was 63 beats per minute. In this graph, we did standing with twitching. We were able to calculate the peaks on both the piezoelectric wrist sensor and the accelerometer on the left wrist. With this, we found that the reference pulse was 64 beats per minute. The initial piezo sensor heart rate was 68 beats per minute. And after being revised, the piezoelectric wrist sensor heart rate was 64 beats per minute. For the simulated walking graph, we left the right arm motionless while we swing the left arm. As you can see, we were not able to correctly identify the peaks on the piezoelectric wrist sensor, but we were able to correctly identify the peaks on the accelerometer. According to the finger pulse reference, the heart rate was 60 beats per minute. The initial piezo sensor heart rate, we caught 78 beats per minute, and the revised piezo sensor heart rate 72 beats per minute. The results that are shown in front of you are all the procedures that were done sitting with no movement, sitting with twitching, standing with twitching, and walking simulated, and all the heartbeats associated with them. We were able to accurately calculate the heart rates while sitting and standing with twitching. However, we had inaccurate data with the heart rate calculated with simulated walking. We couldn't identify the peaks due to the piezo peaks from the arm swings and the heart rates having similar amplitudes to one another. In conclusion, we tested the piezo wrist sensor with the accelerometer. We were able to take the accelerometer and identify motion artifacts. We were able to take heartbeats and distinguish them from the motion artifacts from the piezo wrist sensor. We were able to calculate an accurate heart rate during sitting and standing with twitching. However, we had inaccurate heart rate calculated with the simulated walking due to the swings and the heartbeats having similar amplitudes. For future work, additional signal processing will be needed to distinguish heart pulses. Filtering could be used to remove rhythmic motion. Additional testing with physical activity and being able to program a microcontroller for portable testing. This is my works cited page used for this research. Thank you for looking at my research and I look forward to seeing you at the symposium.